morning here at Woody's and Wheels. I wonder where Matt is. Let's see, he must be in the shop working already. Oh, there's the Hall Scott. We don't play well with the camera. You should be working, TJ. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Cutting valve seats. What's this, an old Lincoln? It's an old Lincoln. KA, is that right? KA. What year? I think it's a 34. Very nice. Back there is a 23 Mercer and a 13 Wolseley. So what are you doing? Well, this has a big V12 in it, and we're cutting seats. So your valve seat to your valve is a very uh, important seal because that's where you're making all your power. Um, so you got to test them, make sure that they're good. You, you take a little gauge here. You can check the concentricity of the gauge. You can put it right on where your seat's going to be riding. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. You can zero it. You can walk it around, see how far out your seat is. Right here it says about five thousandths or so. Here it goes back down to zero or so. Five thousandths within spec? Yeah, you want to be within about a thousandth. All right, so um, you're going you're gonna to round those out. Then you're going to make them concentric with this tool you've got, huh? Yeah. So, so this, is, tool this is the tool. This is just a seat cutter. Uh, lots of different companies make them. Got a little fluid here. Put a little fluid on there. A little cutting, little cutting aid. <clears throat> and your, the important thing is, is your, your seats and the angles at which you're cutting them. So you'll see you got different angles here. I got a 30 angle. I got a 45. I got other angles in my, in my cutter. And so you're, you're cutting it to flow the most amount of air past the valve. And on these cast iron seats, you're also looking to make a fairly fat and wide seat because otherwise you get a lot of seat uh, regression and, and you get real high pressures on them and then your soft seats end up going away on you. So you kind of want to err on the fat side and you take your cutter and you just walk it around on your pilot and you don't want it to chatter. That's kind of what you're fighting. You also don't want to end it on a hard, because like that, and say that that's done. You kind of want to yeah, back off on it. Yeah, back it. off right. and just hit off all the tops. Right. And you're not wanting to really press hard, because you're just trying to take off as little as possible. You're not wanting to have to redo the inserts in one of these motors if it has them at all. And putting inserts in an antique motor is very dangerous, because because your insert, you know, you got to hog out that galley to put your in, your galley to put your insert in, and you don't know how thick that casting is. You might go into the water jacket and uh, open up yourself a can of worms. So you just want to barely even kiss it off, and so all right, that'll be hit. Take that guy off. You can see a nice shiny seat now. Now, how much uh, material did you take off? I mean, are you worried about shavings getting down in there? I see you're wiping it yeah, down. Yeah, see, place. these cutters are much, much, much cleaner than, say, a stone, you know, and they don't throw the grit everywhere. So how much am I removing? Well, maybe a couple thousandths. You know, I'm just kissing them off. Then I can come back with my gauge here, put it right on where the seat's going to be contacting it throughout my gauge and see how much more I need to remove. So it's looking like we went from five thousandths and we got about three thousand run out. So we're we cleaned it up by about no no that looks like three. So we cleaned it up by about two thousandths so we just need to go and kiss a little bit more off but that's a general idea and then you want to make sure on your seat that it's pushed out to the margin on the valve so that it's cooling the very tips of the valve. The fact that it's just like taking a torch to a knife edge, it just turns red and goes away. That same thing will happen on a valve if it's not cooled. And uh, the valve, is the only way that it cools is on that seat because that's water cooled and it's taking the heat off. And then the stem is another thing, we'll go over stems another time, but the stems, you know, that absorbs 30% of the heat and the rest kind of in the head. Um, that's what I'm doing. So, cool. seeing that it's a giant V12, I got a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for the lesson on how to cut valve seats. All right, you're welcome. All right, we'll see you next time. See ya. How about that? It felt like.